Hi everybody and welcome to Doctor Who Review. I'm your host, Morgan McAvoy, and today we will be talking about the third and fourth episodes of Season 9 of Doctor Who, Under the Lake, and Before the Flood. Now, if you haven't seen these episodes, you might want to stop watching, because remember, spoilers! Now, in the episode Under the Lake, a military industrial team discover a weird spacecraft with weird markings on it. After looking at the markings, their leader mysteriously gets killed. After they escape, they find him as a ghost, along with another ghost, who are moving their lips, saying something, but they can't understand what they're saying. The doctor and Clara show up, and after telling them what happened, one of the team members, Pritchard, gets killed by the ghosts and becomes the third one. After trapping the ghost, the doctor decides that he has to go back in time and find out how this all happened. But on the way to the TARDIS, the automatic doors close, leaving O'Donnell, Bennett, and the Doctor on one side, and Clara, Cass, and Lund on the other side. The Doctor says he'll come back for Clara and leaves with Bennett and O'Donnell. While they're waiting, Clara, Cass, and Lund realize that there's another ghost outside the window. The Doctor. In the beginning of the episode before the flood, the Doctor talks about a made-up time traveler that went back in time to meet Beethoven, but no one knew who Beethoven was. So he published Beethoven's work for him. But the thing is, who wrote the music? The Doctor, Bennett, and O'Donnell go to the army base before it was flooded and meet an undertaker named Prentice, who just so happens to be the very first ghost. Prentice tells them that he's traveling with the body of the Fisher King, who came and took over his race, which wasn't really hard because, I mean, his race would just bow down to really anyone. Clara, Cass, and Lunn realize that the Doctor's ghost is saying the list of their names. The Doctor calls Clara, and she tells him about his ghost, and the Doctor tries to talk to his ghost, but then his ghost lets the other ghosts escape. The Fisher King wakes up and kills Prentice and O'Donnell, which upsets Bennett because he finally realizes that the list that the Doctor's ghost is saying is the order in which they're going to die. And he realizes the Doctor knew that all along and was just testing the theory. O'Donnell's ghost shows up where Clara, Cass, and Lunn are and takes Clara's phone. Clara realizes that Lunn never looked at the markings, so he can get the phone without being affected by the ghosts. Cass doesn't want him to go, but he goes anyway, and then is trapped. Worried about him, Cass gets Clara to come with her to find him. The Doctor confronts the Fisher King and tells him that he erased the markings on the ship. The Fisher King goes to check and sees that the markings are still there. Realizing that the Doctor tricked him, the Doctor floods the damn walls. And it's revealed that in the case where you thought the Fisher King was, the Doctor is. At the end of the episode, Clara asks the Doctor how he knew what to do, and the Doctor brings up the bootstrap paradox again from the beginning of the episode. I thought a really powerful moment of this episode was when Cass was walking down the corridor looking for Lun, and didn't realize that the ghost of the team's leader was right behind her carrying an axe. And I thought it was interesting how when you got a close-up of the ghost that you could hear the axe being dragged across the floor, but of course, since Cass is dead, when you got a close-up on her, you didn't hear anything. And you gotta admit, she was pretty clever to reach down on the ground to feel the vibrations. Good move. And I also thought it was sweet when Bennett is looking at O'Donnell's ghost, and he tells Lone to tell Cass that he loves her, and not to wait for such a long time before something bad might happen. I hope you liked the review! See you next time!